MOCA 2019, Essentials and Custom User Interfaces. MOCA Pro 2019 introduces the new MOCA Essentials workspace, making planar tracking easier to learn and quicker to master. The Essentials workspace simplifies the power of MOCA with a new updated interface. MOCA Essentials was designed for traditional video editors and new or occasional MOCA users that may have less visual effects experience. Here, I'll walk you through the new workspaces in MOCA 2019. Let's get started. Tracking and masking tasks are now even faster when working in the Essentials mode by focusing on the most essential icons and tools. We have streamlined the UI for basic MOCA tasks. The Essentials workspace was designed to make the software easier to master by hiding the tools not typically used on all projects. In Essentials mode, we can complete quick tracks and masking shots without switching modules or wasting time with unnecessary clicks. Experienced MOCA users don't need to worry. We have the classic workspace view available for more complex tasks and access to advanced modules such as Remove, Stabilize, Lens, Insert, and more. Your chosen interface will depend on how deep you need to go into MOCA. For example, an editor might use the Essentials workspace for the majority of their work like garbage masking and basic screen replacements. While a VFX artist might switch between a combination of Classic Workspace and Roto Workspace to accomplish more advanced shots. The Big Picture interface is a great place to refine already tracked Roto shapes and focus on refining your Roto work. You can even customize your workspaces to your liking. Workspaces can be switched on in the top toolbar of the interface or found under Views Layouts. I'd like to make you aware of some of the big changes we have made for when we switch from Classic View to Essentials mode. First, you can see that the parameter system is hidden. The most important features from the tracking panel are now found here in this Essentials panel. This is where we define what properties we are tracking, such as Transform, Scale, Rotate, Skew, and Perspective. This is where you can start and stop your tracker or export tracking and spline data. We have also added the surface and grid tools to this panel, because understanding the planar surface is essential to learning MOCA. Moving down to the timeline, in classic mode we can mark our in and out points in our timeline, change our playback loop mode, and I have more options for keyframing. In essentials mode, we have hidden most of the icons in the timeline for simplicity. For users that enjoy the essentials workspace but wish to display a mix of the classic MOCA interface, you can right-click on your timeline and switch between Minimal View and Show All. In this manner, we can display the timeline controls when we want. We can save this change to the workspace by going to Views and save the current layout. Now I have the Essentials workspace with all available timeline tools displayed. Another big change when running Mocha Essentials is the addition of the top toolbars. In Essentials, we have pared down the top tools to the bare necessities for tracking in Roto. Switch to Classic mode if you want to display the Edge Property Selectors or the Join Layers tool. Note that MOCA 2019 now has the geometric shapes as well as powerful magnetic and freehand spline creation tools. Make sure to check out our new Spline Tools video for a deeper dive into these handy additions to MOCA. When working in MOCA Essentials mode, we completely hide the row of icons that changes our viewer displays. Again, you can right-click and show all on this toolbar if you wish to add it back to the saved layout. If you are working in a 360 VR project, you will definitely want to display the viewer icons to do things like switch between stereo left and right views or pan around the spherical 360 workspace. Lastly, Mocha's interface has always been customizable with pop-out windows to arrange the interface to your liking. The Mocha Pro standalone application allows you to pop windows out of your interface and align them between screens or to rearrange your workspace entirely. That means I can stack windows side by side or move them to a more convenient floating location like this. Please note, the plugin version of Mocha Pro does not support pop-out windows, so any windows that move within the plugin must be docked in order to function properly. Along with our existing custom hotkey bindings, which can be found under File, Keyboard, and Customize, the new workspace and user interface options in Mocha Pro 2019 give users the flexibility to learn as they go. 
Enjoy the Mocha Essentials workspace. We encourage you to find new ways of working in Mocha. To find out more, please visit borisfx.com.